scared. What is it? I'm scared work? for you. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Before you begin your experiment, you may want to clean your pennies. You can clean them by dissolving 5 grams of salt in 20 milliliters of vinegar. Swirl the pennies in the solution for 30 seconds or until they look clean. Rinse the coins with distilled water and set them on a paper towel to dry. To prevent oil from your hands getting on the coins, try to avoid touching them with your fingers or use a pair of gloves. To prepare the electroplating solution, add 3 grams of powdered zinc to 30 milliliters of 4 molar sodium hydroxide in a Pyrex beaker or evaporating plate. Place two of the coins in the solution so that they are touching the zinc powder and completely covered with the solution. Heat the beaker on a hot plate at 200 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes or until the coins turn silver in color. If you do not have a hot plate, a Bunsen burner or torch can be used. This method is much faster but needs to be done with more care to avoid possibly splitting the coins. Turn the coins over several times during heating to make sure that they get an even coating of zinc. After the coins are coated with silver coloring, they can be rinsed with distilled water. Set one of the silver coins aside. Heat the other silver coin by holding it in the flame of a Bunsen burner or a torch. Keep rotating the coin from side to side and dipping it into the flame until you see the brass color begin to appear. Take care not to overheat or the brass will discolor. Allow the coin to cool on a heat resistant surface. You can now compare the three coins, copper, silver, and gold. This experiment is for demonstration purposes only and should not be done in an attempt to pass off a silver or gold penny as anything but a penny. This is illegal and can carry penalties from the government. Certain precautions should be taken when doing this experiment. 4 molar sodium hydroxide is corrosive and the hot liquid can cause severe burns. Be sure to wear eye protection and gloves to avoid injury. This experiment should also be conducted in a well ventilated area or a vent hood. You should also avoid inhaling the vapors evaporating from the solution as it can cause irritation or more serious effects.